How do you think NASA and JPL power their deep space satellites? When spacecrafts travel far away from the sun, there isn't enough solar energy to use solar panels. This is why we have to use these contraptions that you can also find inside your refrigerators. These are called Peltier plates, and they're named after the French inventor who created them. Inside, there are two different metals that exchange electrons when exposed to heat and cold. How does this work, you may ask? Here is an example. It is very simple. Just like this, the outside of the spacecraft is exposed to the cold of deep space, while in the inside, there is a small nuclear reactor that generates heat. The difference between the two causes the electrons inside the metals to move and generates enough electricity to power satellites for up to 30 years. Thank you.